The state of California does not need any introduction. The world associates it with Hollywood splendor, palm trees, and warm weather. Over the years, its fame has drawn in a steady stream of sightseers and would-be inhabitants. But there is a darker side to California that gets less attention. In this video, we'll investigate the seedier side of California and look into some of the state's hidden gems. California has a thriving economy and a relatively high quality of life, making it one of the richest states in the United States. It has beautiful landscapes and thriving metropolises. But the Golden State is more than simply its picture suggests. There are problems that must be addressed under the surface. This film was made to bring attention to these problems and kick up a discussion about them. Often ignored in talks about California, we will look at issues like homelessness, poverty, and inequality. We'll also take a look at how the state's environmental regulations and its legacy of racial segregation have affected the region. This film isn't meant to be critical of California, but rather to give viewers a more nuanced understanding of the state and its people. In order to make progress toward a brighter future for all Californians, we think it's crucial to have an open dialogue about the state's problems. Come with us as we investigate the shadowy underbelly of California and uncover the truth about the Golden State. Beautiful scenery, interesting people, and a hectic pace of life all contribute to California having one of the highest cost of living in the USA. In places like San Francisco and Los Angeles, housing expenses are a major factor in overall high living costs. In 2022, The Ascent estimates that the typical house value in the United States will be $428,700, making California's median home worth $831,460. The average monthly rent in San Francisco is over $3,000, and that's only for a one-bedroom apartment. The high cost of living makes life difficult for those with limited incomes, such as low-wage employees and the homeless. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, a person receiving the federal minimum wage would have to work 92 hours per week in order to afford a one-bedroom apartment at the going market rate of rent. Many people are so compelled to make do with living in overcrowded, subpar housing or even their automobiles. Because of the rising cost of living, many low-income areas have been gentrified, forcing out long-time inhabitants. Developers are focusing on low-income areas because of rising home costs, but this is destroying the communities there and their unique culture. As individuals leave their familiar environments due to rising housing prices, they also increase the financial burden on social service providers. The high expense of living in California has led to tragic results not the least of which is an increase in the homeless population. The Public Policy Institute of California estimates that in 2022, there will be 115,491 persons suffering homelessness in California. This makes California the state with the greatest homeless population in the nation. Many people and families are unable to afford to have a roof over their heads due to the high cost of housing, which is a major cause to this catastrophe. Several initiatives have been launched to give shelter and assistance to the state's homeless population, including Governor Gavin Newsom's $12 billion homelessness plan. To help renters keep up with the growing cost of living, numerous communities in California have enacted rent control laws that cap rent increases at a certain percentage each year. Housing prices aren't the only thing that is more expensive in California than the rest of the country. In 2022, NerdWallet reports that California's top income tax rate of 12.3% is the highest in the US. Low-income households in the state may find the hefty sales taxes, gas taxes, and car registration costs particularly onerous. The high cost of living in California is only one factor that has led to the state's widening income equality. In this state, the wealthiest 1% of earnings takes home 33 times as much money as the lowest 20%. The dramatic differences between wealthy and low-income areas in terms of housing quality, access to quality education, and health outcomes are all manifestations of this wealth divide. Access to inexpensive healthcare is a major obstacle for low-income households. Contrasting population groups have made income disparity a pressing problem in California. Some of the country's richest people make their homes in California, 
but the state also has a substantial population of low-wage service workers who are barely making ends meet. This has led to one of the greatest percentages of income disparity in the country being seen in the Golden State of California. The wealthiest 1% of Californian incomes take home more than 20% of the state's revenue, creating a remarkable income disparity gap. In comparison, just 3% of state revenue goes to the lowest 20% of incomes. The concentration of technological sectors in California is sometimes blamed for these statistics, showing a wide income gap in the state. Many of California's top earners work in the technology sector, which is a major economic driver for the state. Nonetheless, not all Californians have seen pay increases as a result of the industry's success. Many low-wage service employees in the state, such as those in the restaurant and hotel industries, are finding it difficult to make ends meet due to the high cost of living in the state. Social and political conflicts in California have been exacerbated by the salary disparity between rich tech employees and executives and low-paid service workers. There is a widespread belief that low-income children in the state have little opportunity of improving their socio-economic status because of the state's significant income disparity. Frustration and despondency as a consequence of this may lead to demonstrations, criminal activity, and other types of social unrest. Furthermore, wealth disparity may cause political division, since people at various socio-economic levels value different things and have different perspectives. Low-paid service employees in the state may place a higher value on topics like minimum wage rises and healthcare access than high-earning IT workers and CEOs. The state of California has taken a number of steps to reduce economic disparity, including increasing the minimum wage, broadening access to healthcare, and expanding the availability of low-cost housing. However, these efforts have not been sufficient to tackle the systemic racism, inadequate educational and occupational possibilities, and uneven distribution of wealth that underpin income disparity. Income disparity in the Golden State is exacerbated by systematic racism, which has traditionally denied members of historically oppressed groups, including the Black and Latino communities, the same opportunities enjoyed by their white counterparts. The concentration of wealth in the technology sector, which has traditionally been controlled by white men, has worsened the wealth disparity between these populations and their white counterparts. Income disparities persist because some people are unable to get better paying occupations because they lack the education and skills necessary to do so. There may be a large number of California service employees who earn low wages because they lack the knowledge and experience to compete for better employment elsewhere. Having the highest homeless population in the nation, California is now experiencing a homelessness issue. As I noted before, California is home to about 115,000 homeless people, or roughly a fifth of the total homeless population in the United States. High housing expenses, mental illness, and addiction are all contributors to the issue of homelessness in California. But these are just the tip of the iceberg. Since the typical property value in California is over $800,000, it might be difficult for people and families with lower incomes to purchase a home there. Because of this, there is a growing population of people who are either houseless or experiencing severe rent stress. Other major contributors to homelessness in California include mental illness and substance abuse. Mental illness and addiction make it hard for many people living on the streets to hold down jobs and secure living situations. Supportive housing initiatives, greater financing for mental health and addiction treatment services, emergency shelter and outreach services, and so on are just some of the measures California has taken to combat the homelessness epidemic. Individuals experiencing homelessness may find long-term housing and other services via supportive housing programs. Supportive housing programs in California have been successful in decreasing homelessness and increasing outcomes for participants, according to a report by the California Policy Lab. The state of California has boosted spending on mental health and addiction treatment programs to better serve homeless people who are also experiencing mental health or drug misuse issues. This has included the growth of Medicaid, which covers treatment for mental illness and substance abuse for low-income people. In addition, the state has established emergency shelters and outreach services for the homeless, 
including outreach programs that distribute food, drink, and hygiene products. The homelessness epidemic in California is still a major issue, and much more needs to be done to identify and treat the underlying causes of homelessness and to offer viable alternatives for homeless people. Over $8 billion a year is spent on ER visits, prison time, and other social services, according to a study published by the Corporation for Supportive Housing and the California Housing Partnership at year's end. The state of California is home to some of the world's most stunning landscapes, but it also faces serious environmental threats. Air pollution, water shortages, and wildfires are just a few of the state's environmental concerns, all of which are made worse by global warming. California has a serious issue with air pollution, especially in major cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco. The American Lung Association reports that the air quality in the Los Angeles Long Beach region is the worst in the nation, due to excessive levels of ozone and particle pollution. Reasons for this include increased traffic, manufacturing, and forest fires. California has a number of environmental challenges, including water shortages, which is especially problematic in agriculturally important regions like the Central Valley. More frequent droughts and lower water availability are projected as a result of climate change-related temperature increases and shifts in precipitation patterns. The state of California has had some of the biggest and most catastrophic wildfires in recent history, making them a major environmental problem. Rising temperatures and shifting weather patterns are fueling wildfires, which is only making the situation worse. Renewable energy regulations, energy efficiency promotion, and control of greenhouse gas emissions are only some of the legislative measures California has made to environmental challenges. State officials have committed to transitioning to entirely renewable energy sources by 2045, via policies including mandatory renewable energy requirements and aggressive efforts to increase energy efficiency. In 2022, renewable energy accounted for approximately 40% of power output in California, according to a study by the state's Energy Commission. The state of California has enacted legislation to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases by 40% from 1990 levels by the year 2030. A cap-and-trade regime, in which emissions from regulated companies are capped and licenses to emit gases are traded, has been put into place in the state. Despite these initiatives, much more must be done to solve California's environmental problems. Investment in renewable energy, water conservation, and other steps to lessen the effects of climate change will be necessary for as long as these problems worsen. Crime and violence are not uncommon in the Golden State. Communities around the state have been ravaged by long-standing problems including gang violence and police brutality. Some of the problems that California has with crime and violence will be discussed, as will the disproportionate impact these problems have on communities of color, and the steps the state has made to solve them. California has a significant problem with gang violence. The National Gang Center found that California has the highest concentration of gang members in the country. Communities at large feel the effects of these crimes, but communities of color are disproportionately impacted by gang violence. The Center for American Progress found that black and Latino kids are disproportionately affected by gang violence and are also more likely to be active members of gangs. The paper explains that this is because these neighborhoods are underprivileged and so more open to gang recruiting. Physical injuries, psychological distress, and even death may be permanent results of gang violence. Police brutality is another problem in the Golden State. The issue of police brutality is a big one throughout the United States, including in the state of California. The number of persons murdered by police in 2022 is the greatest it has been in the nation in the previous decade, according to Mapping Police Violence. Even though they only make up 13% of the population in California, black individuals account for 27% of those slain by police there in 2021 when the overall number of police shootings was 1,055. Communities of color are disproportionately affected by police violence. It makes it harder for police to maintain order by undermining public faith in them. It discourages citizens from going to the police with concerns or reporting crimes. 
This may make it harder for law enforcement to apprehend criminals and keep neighborhoods safe. The state of California has taken many steps to deal with these problems. The state has created gang prevention initiatives, for instance, to provide youths an alternative to gang membership. Mentoring, vocational training, and college courses are all part of these initiatives. In addition, the Golden State has banned chokeholds and required body cams for police personnel as part of its reform efforts to improve police practices. Although these policies represent progress, it is not yet known if they have been successful in addressing the underlying factors that contribute to crime and violence in California. Communities of color continue to suffer the brunt of the state's challenges with gang violence and police brutality. Wrapping off this video, I discussed some of the state of California that is often overlooked. Housing expenditures in expensive cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles are a key contributor to the high cost of living. Low-wage employees, the homeless, and long-time inhabitants pushed out by gentrification have all felt the effects of the city's high cost of living. Another major problem in the Golden State is the wide gap in income that exists between the state's rich tech professionals and its low-wage service workers. California has serious problems in the areas of homelessness, environmental degradation, and crime and violence. High housing expenses, mental illness, and addiction all contribute to the state having the greatest homeless population in the nation. Climate change is increasing the state's environmental difficulties, which include air pollution, water shortages, and wildfires. Communities of color are also disproportionately affected by crime and violence, such as gang violence and police brutality. It's crucial to remember that California is a multifaceted state, with its fair share of advantages and disadvantages. It has a positive reputation for its pleasant climate and thriving economy, but it also confronts serious threats. Therefore, it is essential to critically examine our assumptions about California and to have a deeper understanding of the concerns raised in this clip. California has many problems, but by working together, we can overcome these obstacles and achieve a more just and sustainable future. We must work together to promote laws that help those with low incomes, safeguard the state's natural resources, and guarantee the safety of all citizens.